right now for the finals I just want you guys to um, be able to read that make the sounds right no where your accent beats are Toshka Le we jazo hecha. Le we jazo hecha. Wanji. Okshila toki lapi he. Away away ekta uyampi. Away away ekta uyampi. Away away. Wayawa ekta muyampi muyapi muyapi muyampi wana votapi wana votapi accents stress marks oh ha we're talking about the word oh ha and one of the things that we came up with that was really funny, I'll just share it with you guys because there's Oha, Oha, and Oha. We have that word, and it's all written the same. Yeah, boxes. wearing, yeah, yeah wearing, just and one's an expression. Oh, ha! Huh. That means an expression of uh, agreement. Oh, ha! Huh. That's just like this. Oh, ha! Wana wa uyutapikte. The other one is, oh, ha! Le oh, ha, yeah. Cook this, boil it, you know. And the other one is, um, oh, ha! Which means you're in... In, in, a, in a group, inside a group. <laughs> so it's really important, like, oha is when you're inside a group, oha. This one doesn't have anything, it's an, and then the other one is oha. It's a stress, it's an agreement. <laughs> so you guys watch your, watch where you put your stress. Oha wa na wa uyu ta pikte wa uyu ta pikte ta I think ta ta ku ta kto kano he This is a really tricky word right here uh, most people use it as a uh, um, fast speech when it's fast speech it's ta kto kano he just real fast ta kto kano he but when you write it down and you say it slow, it's taku tokano he. What are you doing? <coughs> okay? What are you doing? So toshka le taku he. What is the nephew, what is this? Tui le wicha so to wanji hecha. Auntie, this is one blue pencil, pen, marker, whatever. Hokshila, toki lapi he. Boys, you can, in fact, all Lakota words and kinship terms, um, you only use the word the way it is. There is no such thing, like in English, we have hokshilas, you know, a lot of them put muyas, you know, things like that. You know, all the wichashas. You know, <laughs> you don't use that. It all depends on how you use your sentence. Hokshila, toki lapi he. I'm talking to a group of boys, or I can t be talking to one boy. It all depends. But this makes a big difference. B means I'm talking to um, a group of boys. But if I was talking to one boy, I would say, Hokshila, toki lahe. Toki lahe. 
That's that conjugation. Hokshila, tokilahe. But I'm talking to m more than one boy, but you don't add the S's on her. So it's hokshila, tokilapi here. Owayawa ekta unyampi. See, he is a conjugated right here. Conjugation. Unyampi. Owayawa ekta. If I wanted to say it only, if it was only me, I would say Owayawa ekta ble. It would make a whole difference on what I'm saying. But here, we're talking to a group only because I added the P in there. Hokshira toki la P here. Owayawa ekta unyam P. The conjugation makes it a group. I put all the K's and Y's because it's kshto or yellow. Remember, answers and commands are, uh, answers and statements are kshto for women, yellow for men. Guys. Wana wota pi. Just a command. But, I'm talking to a group. If I talk to only one, I would say wana wota or wana wota ye. But I'm talking to a group, so I add P on it. Wana wota pi. Oh, ha, wana wa unyu ta pikte. It's a conjugation right there. The un is a group, or I'm involved in it, and pi. A lot of people always say, wana wota, you know, come wota, you know, things like that. But if you use it correctly, once you get into a group, it's yuta, the word changes. Yuta. Yuta ye. You know, I can, I can make it as a command and just say yuta ye, which means eat it if I'm talking to somebody. Or yuta pi, you know, then I would add that on there. But it doesn't, you don't use wota all the time for everything. Anything that has to do with eating. Because the word changes as it goes along. And it changes with uh, conjugation. Fast speech is I would take this away right here. This ooh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Takto khanu hai. The only thing that made a difference was nu. But you can't use it alone. You have to use something that goes with it. So the ad word is what are you doing? Because if you're doing it, it's like hechum. But the word changes as you make it into a full sentence. Shunka wa kan wa aka makahe. Shunka wa kan wa aka makahe. It's a long K. Makahe. Something I am doing. I am sitting on a horse. That's one of those ones where if I said manke, notice it changes the A and the E, manke. Shunka wa kan wa akan manke. I am sitting on a horse. Or I sat on a horse. But makahe is now. Shunka wa kan wa akan makahe. I am sitting on a horse. So those change too, the A's and the E's. Has to do with uh, now or past tense or group, I think it is too. 
I am sitting on a horse. I'm petu kile o abhe ki watoha nigalush tank tahe. I'm petu kile o abhe watoha nigalush tank tahe. I'm petu is what? Today. Kile. Today. O abhe is what? Clock. Oh, remember that other one? The clock. Watoham is just when Niglush tahe. When are you gonna get done? Niglush Get done. Ampetu kile. Today. O apre wanjiki. At one o'clock. Me. I will be done. Me glushta. Me glushta, me glushta. Hey, glushta. Remember that? Those conjugations? Ampetu. Ampetu. Ki le. O apre. Ki. Watoham. Me glushta. See where the stress mark is up? Um, petu kile el o apre wanji ki mi glu stankte. See how the stress marks work? If you break up your uh, words into syllables, it's, it's really easy to uh, start learning how to say the words. Wayawa ekta se ek is a, don't forget it's always a e h unyapi unyapi. So when you write your Lakota words, you learn how to um, ho kshi la. Do ki la pi he. See how it goes? So when you write your sentences down, if you write them, you know, you can, you, you can put the word together as a group, but make it kind of separate. And that way, when it comes to the syllables, you break it down. Because if you notice, there's no, um, wa un yu ta. Second syllable has always got the emphasis on it, the stress marks. Yeah, it's a it's a, a hard P. Pe. Pe. And this is a nasal N. It's also a hard T. On Petu. O Apche, there's a guttural sound right there. O Apche. So if you write them down, it's like E H. This one is U. It's two O's. Remember how I was teaching you guys how to say them in the beginning? Eh. Eh. O a. A. Pre. See, if you break it down into syllables. O a. O a. Petu. Ki. Le. Eh. O apre wanji ki mi glu shtan. Shtan. Remember, this is a H, SH sound. Mi glu shtan kte. So if you write your words down like that, write down the syllables, you'll, you'll have a better chance at. Pronunciation, 
you'll have a better chance at um, knowing the stress marks. Wana wotapi. It's a command. Right? You can hear the sound. Wana wotapi. Whereas if I ask a question, I would say, Hoshka, let eh? Anytime there's an ending with an H, it's, it's a question. A E A. H E. He is a question. Kumwi. You guys are using kinship terms right there. Yellow and kshto, male, female endings. Ona wotapi means I'm talking to a group of you. Because if I said one, I would say wana wotaye or wana wotayo. Wa unyutapi is I'm involved with a group, we're all eating. The UN, as always, uh, I'm involved in it. I'm in with the group. Or you and I. You want the translations too? So that way you guys know what you're talking about? I know I put it in the wrong place. I couldn't figure out why I did that. <laughs> okay, nephew. N e p h e u w. Nephew. What is this? Okay. And the this is uh you can say uh or one uh, hint. Boys, where are you going? Okay. Just the command. Eat now. Okay. We are going to eat. Okay. What are you? Doing. I am sitting on a horse. This is a good example of um, that syntax. The subject comes first. Okay. Today.
will be done. Okay, here's the other one. But um, this is, we usually, when we give it a get up and talk, we ask, Mitake pi yuha chante wa shtea nape chiyuzapi. A long time ago, the elderly, when they get up and talk during Christmas time, Waniki atumpi is when uh, the birth of Christ, and Omak hatecha is New Year. I'm just saying that to you guys, because... Uh, I want you guys to have a good year, a good Christmas, and um, and then um, I want to say thank you to you guys for coming all the time, learning, learning something. You made it a good semester for me. It 